On October 14th, North, Central, and South America will see the Moon move in front of the Sun, creating a partial solar eclipse for many and a Ring of Fire annular eclipse for some of you along a specific path. I'm Michael Martin and welcome to Late Night Astronomy, your guide to the best objects, events, and equipment to help you explore the heavens above. The most important thing to begin with for this event is how to safely view it. During a partial solar eclipse and Ring of Fire annular eclipse, the Sun is never fully blocked by the Moon. So certified protective solar gear needs to always be worn during this entire event from any location regardless of how much of the Sun is being blocked by the Moon. I plan on viewing this eclipse using a pair of ISO certified solar glasses and an Eclipse Smart solar telescope. Just be sure to always double check your solar gear for scratches or damage before using them. For this event on October 14th, the Moon won't quite be large enough to cover the entire surface of the Sun, which is what creates this annular solar eclipse, or as it's more popularly known as, the Ring of Fire eclipse. The Ring of Fire will begin in Eugene, Oregon around 9.16 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time and will travel through the southwest United States hitting San Antonio, Texas around 11.50 a.m. Central Daylight Time. After crossing the Gulf of Mexico, it will enter Mexico and Central America, making its way into Colombia and Brazil before leaving South America and crossing into the Atlantic Ocean. To find out the exact time the Ring of Fire may hit your location along this path, check out my favorite astronomy app called Sky Safari. They just did an updated version of this app that has some incredible information to help you pinpoint the exact moment when the peak of this eclipse will hit, whether you're under the partial eclipse or the annular Ring of Fire eclipse. I'll be sure to leave a link to this app along with other resources to help you plan for this event in the description of this video. This is going to be an exciting event for many of us, but it's really just a dress rehearsal for the total solar eclipse that's going to be cutting through major parts of North America in April of 2024. If you're able to get out to see or experience any parts of this event, please be sure to let us know about your questions and experiences in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.